Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Today's tip is for 3D Studio Max, which is a little bit different than usual, but I'm in this program a lot, so I figured I'd share. Uh, and I frequently, when making a scene, just kind of go quick and dirty and don't really worry about names or anything uh, and find it really starts to annoy me later on once I go back um, because I'll have something like this where I'll have a ton of business cards or it might be a ton of characters in a scene or a ton of objects. And by the time I'm done, my files are all named like box one through 200. And I'm never sure which one I'm actually clicking on. Uh, if you're ever in your object selector, it's impossible to know what any of these are. Uh, and it can be really annoying to go back through and click each one and rename them here and do all that sort of stuff. Uh, and I just wanted to bring to your attention this handy little feature kind of script that they have in here underneath tools called rename objects. So if I've selected all of these different cards, which I have in the stack here, you can just go to rename object and it gives you a whole ton of different options for how you want to rename these. So if I want them all to be called cards, I can just type in card as the base name for every object um, and then hit I'm going to say I want them numbered from zero to one or zero and iterate by one. So I hit rename and you can see they've all been named card one, card two, three, four, all the way through. Um, and this same tool can be used if you run into other people's files that do things like this and you want to rename certain words out of there. Uh, so like if I wanted to change all of these, I could very easily say remove the first, I'm going to say four digits and just hit OK. And now the word card has been pulled out of all of them. I could add card back and say add a suffix of hello just for fun. Um, it really makes it super easy to go through and keep all of your objects managed if you're dealing with lots of repeat objects in a file, in a scene. Um, like I said, I frequently run into this with like little nubs on a shoe where you've got like a thousand of them that all should be named the same thing or something more simple like this where you have business cards where you'd like to know that each one of them is a business card and not just some random box. So that's the tip. I hope you found it useful. If you want more of these types of tutorials, feel free to subscribe or hit the little bell icon to stay notified. And I'll, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.